from downtown Corpus Christi, Dave Johnson reporting once again. The latest again on this day-long standoff involving the shooting death of Selena Quintanilla. The authorities have apprehended the woman accused of slaying the Grammy award-winning star some nine and a half hours after she was fatally shot. Police say the 23-year-old singer died at about 1.05 this afternoon at Memorial Medical Center. Police Chief Henry Garrett has identified the suspect as 32-year-old Yolanda Saldivar. And I believe we have some, uh, some videotape if we can go ahead and take that. Uh, now at this time. Chief Garrett says no charges will be filed until tomorrow. This is uh, a video taken about three to four minutes ago uh, at there at the scene at IH-37 in navigation. Saldivar had police negotiators at bay sitting in a motel parking lot in this red pickup truck and holding a gun to her head until she was apprehended just before 930. Chief Garrett says he thinks she just got tired. The shooting of Selena, one of the most popular figures in Tejano music, was reported shortly before noon at this day's in motel. Now, the Spanish network Telemundo has reported the suspect was about to be fired from her job as manager of Selena's store in Corpus Christi. Additionally, Newswatch 10 has been able to learn this evening from sources inside Doctors Regional Medical Center that the suspect, Yolanda Saldivar, and Selena had been at the emergency room of the hospital early this morning. Selena had apparently accompanied her friend, who had claimed to have been sexually assaulted. Those sources spoke in the condition of anonymity, but said Corpus Christi Police are continuing to investigate this incident and its possible connection to the shooting. We're going to have a report in just a few moments from Mary Al Salinas, a reporter at KENS at the scene. Uh, we're going to go to that now. To get her out. She was very distraught at some points, crying, wiping her face. At some points, they say she also held a gun uh, to her mouth. Uh, police told us just moments ago that they were prepared to wait as long as they had to. They didn't want any more bloodshed. That woman, the suspect right now, is downtown at the Corpus Christi Police Department. Of course, charges for murder are expected to be filed against her. Chris? Ariel Salinas, uh, now from KENS uh, Channel 5 in San Antonio, telling us uh, what happened at the scene. Uh, again, the suspect, uh, Yolanda Saldivar, has been taken into custody. She's 32 years old. She's being questioned now by detectives inside the Corpus Christi Police Department. Well, perhaps no one was more devastated by the news of Salinas' death than her own father. He was her manager and taught her the business, and of course, perhaps most importantly, he was her father, her own flesh and blood. He spoke to reporters today at Memorial Medical Center. Selena was <laughs> was killed this morning by a disgruntled employee, and uh, right now uh, I don't know all the details. A disgruntled employee, a, an employee that would be, that uh, we had some problems with. Who does she work for? She worked for Selena. In, uh, in her uh, her uh, uh, stores, for her clothing stores. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just want them to, to remember her the way she was, a loving person. But that's all I can say. Abraham Quintanilla speaking to reporters earlier at Memorial Medical Center and reacting to his daughter's death. Fans began to descend on the crime scene at Memorial Medical Center in droves. Newswatch 10 reporter Brooke Maples has more on their reaction. We're experiencing some technical problems with that package. We'll have it for you in just a moment. Selena began her ride to the top of Tejana music at an extremely early age. Newswatch 10 reporter Michelle Germano looks back at an eventful filled career. She was at the pinnacle of her career and of her life. 
Tejano star Selena was said to be the shining example of what Tejano music is it all about. It feels good. It's good to be back here and have our family and friends supporting us here in our hometown. Home originally was Lake Jackson, Texas. Her family relocated to Corpus Christi shortly after she was born, living in the Molina area. She quickly rose to fame. Many say she was the Madonna of Mexican-American music. But through it all, she never forgot her roots. What, what, what would you want to tell the people of Corpus? Well, I'd like to uh, tell them thanks for all the support they've given us. And I know at the, at the beginning it was kind of hard for us here in Corpus. It was, well, for a lot of groups, it's hard for the hometown to back up their, their hometown groups. But there was a lot of people that stuck by our side here in Corpus. And we give you all a whole bunch of thanks from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate you made us what we are today. So thanks. It was only a month ago when she was recognized by her music peers, capturing Grammy Awards, wearing her trademarks, sexy costumes, but she was also dedicated to her family, married to a member of her band. I used to have a band way back when, and um, I guess it's where we got the musical talent from, and, and as far as other groups, I list, used to listen to Taste of Honey, a um, little bit of rock, ACDC, just different music. I, li I listen to everything. Ever think a couple of years ago you'd be in this situation? No, <laughs> never. What's it like? Well, it's like a dream come true. I mean, there's been a lot of hard work that we put into it, but you know what? When you get hard work, you get success, and, and we've put a lot of years into it, 12 years now, and we're really happy. Never thought we'd get this far, but we're here, so. While Selena's dream did come true, it has now been shattered at age 23. <laughs> Michelle Germano, News Watch 10. Selena accomplished by the age of 23 more than many singers do in an entire lifetime. Reporter Wendy Rigby looks back at Selena's career. Even if you don't know Selena's music, you've probably heard her name. She was the hottest female Latin vocalist around. Her latest album, Amor Prohibido, has soared on the Billboard Latin charts for weeks now. It sold more than 400,000 copies in the U.S. Last year, Selena won the music industry's top honor, a Grammy, for her album, Selena Live. Known for her sexy stage costumes, Selena was idolized by Mexican-American teenagers much the way Madonna is worldwide. And in return, she made numerous public appearances, like her performance two weeks ago at a Spurs Stay in School Jamboree at the Alamo Dome, where she talked with Mari Vasquez. I'm all for education, therefore I think it's really important to take the time for, for programs like this. I'm really surprised with the turnout. I think it's great. It's a good sign that kids want to do something good for themselves, and it's great to see the turnout here today. Selena started singing when she was only nine years old, and while she recorded in Spanish, she was hoping to branch out to a wider audience. She was in the process of recording her first album in English, The Sounds of Selena, now silenced by one shot from a gun. In San Antonio, Wendy Rigby for CBS News. Fans have begun, or fans have been gone all day long, descending on this crime scene at ICE 37 and Navigation and at Memorial Medical Center where Selena died. They, they uh, descended upon it in literal droves. Newswatch 10 reporter Brooke Maples has their reaction. And, and everybody's in shock. We can't believe that this is happening here in, in Corpus Christi of all places. Radio personality Rick Sanchez says that after the loss of Selena, the Tejano music industry will never be the same. What are things like back at the station right now? Right now it's chaos, complete chaos. We've got calls coming in from all over. We've got calls coming from San Antonio, from Kingsville, Alice. We've got calls from Austin, Houston, all over the state of Texas calling into the radio station right now. And, and the entire state, but the entire Tejano industry is, is in shock. After Sanchez heard about the shooting, he said he had to come to Memorial Medical Center to hear the bad news for himself. But for hundreds of other Corpus Christi residents, the murder scene was the only place they could be. As soon as the news of the shooting came out, throngs of people converged on the scene here. And while most of them are somber and supportive, with all the kids and dogs around here, there is an inevitable circus-type atmosphere. But most tell me they just want to see justice done. Selena was a real perfect person. She was great to the community. You're hoping that the lady in that truck can see all of you? Yeah, I hope she does. And hopefully she won't make it out of that truck. <laughs> 
Although Morris says she is a longtime fan of Selena's music, others here might not even recognize one of her songs. I don't, I, I don't listen to her music. I don't listen to that kind of music, but I mean, just to be shot, you know, anybody to be killed, I mean, it's just so sad. But no matter what their reasons for being here, the sheer multitude of people that responded today is just another testimonial to the young woman who was known worldwide only as Selena. Brooke Maples, News Watch 10. To get an idea of the magnitude, the sheer numbers of people that uh, were fans of Selena, take a look at this next tape uh, shot out of San Antonio tonight where literally thousands of her fans have turned out for a candlelight vigil at the sunken gardens in San Antonio. Selena often performing in the Alamo City. Uh, there's just literally thousands of fans there. Let's, let's take a brief listen to this. Those are the, uh, the candlelight vigil tonight in San Antonio. Meantime, Selena's San Antonio-based record label, EMI Latin, is reeling from the shock of her death. Today, our affiliate KENS talked to the people behind her rise to stardom. All I can confirm is that she has passed away. No me queda más que perderme en un abismo de tristeza y lágrimas. Anybody that's ever come in contact with Selena has received a huge loss. No me queda más. It is a tragedy that will be felt by the, the many people that loved her. Um, all we can say is that right now our prayers are with her family and the many people that were part of her life. Is there a message you want to give her fans? Well, just, you know, just pray for her family and... Uh, you know, it's all, you know, so right now, it's, it's been very difficult for us. Selena has accomplished so much, um, broken so many records, broken so many barriers for Tejano artists and Latin artists alike and just simply any recording artist. Um, awesome. That's the only word you can describe, Selena. News Washington continues in just a moment.